Only 4,840 pounds. This is a lightweight little bugger considering it has two opposing slides in the living room, which is also a rare find in a little trailer. Uh, 233 RBS Freedom Express came in on trade here, Alit RV. They actually swapped this out, I believe, for uh, a little bit bigger Freedom Express here, Alit RV. Uh, this is a model that uh, we had in our lineup um, for, you know, a number of years, well, every year it was available, really, that we were with Freedom Express, which, you know, we're a dealer for that product even today. Um, really fills a unique niche. Getting those opposing slides in something this size that's either big SUV or, you know, general half-ton uh, towable, that's a hard find. You can't find a lot of opposing slides in a little RV like this. The neat thing is it opens up the uh, living areas for the inclusion of a kitchen island, which is also, without this kind of layout, pretty much impossible to find. Um, I've been through it, by and large. Looks pretty sharp, looks very well maintained. It's a uh, pretty light model. What's nice is it can still qualify for same as new RV finance. That's a fantastic thing. Up front on the nose, it's actually got a tongue mounted spare tire. That helps with load equalization. Um, it also leaves the rear bumper open if you want to throw a bike rack or something on there. We have seal gripping, leak preventing slide walls. Previous owners added max air covers to the roof vents. Can't really find anything wrong with that. I think they just wanted a little bit bigger layout is what it kind of boiled down to. All windows are tinted, which will keep the RV cooler inside and enhance your privacy. I like that centralized hookups in the back corner there, aluminum wheels. Um, this actually has uh, aluminum framed laminated sidewalls, rear walls, and floor. It has a uh, 3 8 roof decking on top of 5 inch uh, arched roof trusses and an aluminum perimeter roof which is kind of uncommon but it allows for uh, more seamless wall to ceiling mergers here and it is darn cold. I, am, I don't know if you can hear my voice. I'm like half shivering out here and I'm wearing three coats. Jeez, old pizza the sun needs to come back out. Um, push button power awning with tilt. And uh, this is just a shallow baby slide. Those are roughly like 10 foot deep slides and that's maybe an 18 inch slide. Um, or, uh, 10 foot deep awnings an 18 inch slide as it were. My brains and tongue are freezing today. Uh, in English that means more than enough room for a picnic table and everything still here. And you saw that this actually includes a picnic table from Coachman right in that pass through up front. Um, the other nice thing about this, people spend hundreds, thousands of dollars uh, often on RVs adding slide awning covers. Well, this basically has built in slide awnings on uh, the uh, door side. <laughs> that ain't all bad. Little outside TV hookup right here by the door kind of rounds out the door side of the RV. Um, bigger entry handle also never hurts. The uh, door is also strutted so that door can't get caught in a wind gust and slam open against the side of that slide out. So you're not going to have accidental slide flange damage. Big 42 cubic foot front storage compartment that I passed through earlier gives you more than enough room for anything you're going to store in this little guy going down the road. Uh, all in all, I'm happy with what I see. This also has Asdell uh, laminate panels under the fiberglass skin. Asdell is lighter than Luon under the fiberglass skin. It cannot rot mold mildew. It's a sound dampener. It also enhances our values a little bit. It basically it gives this inch and a half ultralight wall the same R value as a two inch non-ultralight wall, which always a good thing. Uh, let's take a peek inside and see the good things keep on rolling here. Just like the exterior, the interior shows, I mean, it's been used. I can see with even a modestly trained eye, you're going to see areas of, of use but not abuse. This has been very well maintained. These folks went out, did a lot of camping, had a really good time, and said, you know, we would just like to tweak a couple things about this, but again, I think the fact that they stayed within the Freedom Express Ultralight family uh, here at Halet RV is, is such a big thing. There's very little brand loyalty in this business. So when someone does decide they're going to uh, stick with a brand, it really speaks volumes about their experience with that RV. Um, the dinette here has Full bench storage access. You see the two big doors to get to that storage there. But uh, what's easily missed is the extra little bonus sliding storage compartment back there that you can see. Um, the uh, sliding door or the, the face of the bench actually has little slider panels that open up to give you easy access to that. Now, if you do have a guest or a grandkid, this is uh, like an 84 inch dinette or something big like that, somewhere right on the nature of uh, seven foot. And one of the nice things about a Freedom Express uh, during this period here and still today is that they are a tall ultralight. This is an ultralight that is very good for big people like me. It's got a six foot nine interior instead of six and a half foot. Now, a lot of six and a half foot campers have a bubble ceiling. They have that vaulted ceiling, which is great. Don't get me wrong. It has huge benefits. I personally prefer 
a six foot nine wall with a linear interior height because the wall height is what determines the slide height, the cabinet height, the shower height. It's a big difference. All windows you see open for ventilation. The TV does spin to uh, face the rear bedroom. You can see we have sliding doors on the left side there. Not well, you have doors on both sides, but I have one half open on the left, not curtains. Um, uh, Bluetooth DVD player so your entertainment needs are met. We have all LED interior lighting and uh, just like we have a taller interior and a taller shower we also have a bed that's good for taller folks. This is a full 80 inch true queen with uh, side stands and household outlets. We have his and hers full length hanging wardrobe closet so they don't have that sharp corner to gouge you and we've got a very aggressive overhead cabinet even though this has a pretty big bullet uh, nose design if you uh, take a knee and take a look at this thing, you can see you've actually got really big cabinets up there. And even larger lights under the overhead of the bed. That's an area that a lot of times you'll get smaller lights from a lot of brands. All of our countertops are tabletops, whether it's that dining table, the island, the main kitchen, even in the bathroom. They're all sealed edge. It's called thermofoil. It's a pressed resin membrane. Basically, it's, there's nowhere for water to penetrate in it. Um, this is also a stone cast sink, which is rated for up to 500 degrees. So short of just hitting it with a straight torch, you can't hurt it. Um, it's also, you know, not like stainless. There's a lot of cheap stainless in the RV business, guys. So uh, you got to watch a stainless air quote sink because a lot of them can still rust. They're not really stainless. Um, household outlets all over the place in here, too, so you can uh, keep all your devices powered up, charged up. The uh, island, or pardon me, next to the island, this, this kitchen slide, it's just pure storage. And I think one of the best things they did, a lot of island uh, slides I've seen in RVs, they're only this big. They're only the width of the stovetop and the microwave. Well, in this Freedom Express, they added this huge extra cabinet, closet, pantry, whatever you want it to be here in the slide. And it's this extra two-foot extension on that slide-out with those adjustable, removable shelves in there that gives this thing just a crazy amount of kitchen storage. Now, on top of that, you've got huge prep space in here, too. You've got actually uh, two of these big, giant, uh, like, um, pizza stone or, you know, big size drawers in here. This is a little removable um, utensil organizer that normally would go around the sink, but because of the location of the sink in this model, you don't find that there. You've also got um, cabinet space down here that is as deep as this countertop is deep right there. And that kitchen breeze window kind of rounds it out to give you a very nice little compact space. If what you're looking for is a big camper, but not a long camper, that's really where this one comes into play. It, because it gets wider at your campsite. It's not longer on the road. It's, it's something you can't find a lot of in the industry today. They're just, and I think the reason being, the reason you don't see more of this floor plan, because it's a great model out there, is that second slide out, it adds a chunk of weight, it adds a chunk of cost. And that's something that people say, well, it's a 23 foot trailer. I can find other less expensive 23 foot trailers. And you sure can but you're not gonna get all that extra storage or the island from this kitchen slide right here. And that's the big difference. That's really the, the story of the day on this one right here. Give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, we do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.